Remote ID is here, sort of, but we'll talk about that in a second. And if you're like me and you earn a good portion of your income from using drones, whether it be something like this, a custom built FPV drone, or even older drones like the Inspire 2, and you don't have remote ID on them, then technically you need to get some sort of module on them so that you can be remote ID compliant. In my case, I am remote ID compliant with all the drones I fly because again, it's a huge portion of my business and I don't wanna risk that. Now, while we do have a bit of a reprieve until March 16th of 2024 to be fully compliant with remote ID, right now, if you have the ability to be compliant with remote ID, then you should be. The problem is, modules have been pretty difficult to get. Pierce Aerospace sent me their B1 module, which I've been really impressed with, and I'm not the only one if you look at uh, Remote Pilot Institute's tests of these, the Pierce B1 actually scored the highest or scored the best overall. It comes in at just a little under 30 grams. I measured mine at 28, 28 and a half, depending on how I set it on the scale, so that's not much. And when you're talking about using something like an Inspire 2 or this custom-built FPV drone, adding 30 grams is not that big a deal. And this module, the way it works, its simplicity, the functionality is really high. I do appreciate them sending this to me and giving me the chance to test it out and try it out because I've been pretty impressed by it so far. So you get the module, you get a USB-C cable, which plugs into the back and uses it for charging the battery, which lasts up to about six hours. We'll see how that does in the cold up here, but I think it'll do just fine for uh, quite a few drone flights. And then you get a uh, quick start card here, which tells you what the different LEDs mean and how the self-test and stuff like that. And then you also get a card here, which is essentially your certificate saying this is your remote ID number here, which is the same as the serial number for the unit. So when you register your drone or you register this unit with a drone that you built, in my case here, this custom FPV drone, then when you register on the FAA site, you put in the serial number of the remote ID module as your remote ID. Like I said, in the back is a USB-C cable for charging the battery. On the side right here is a little LED that's red when it's charging and turns off when it's fully charged. And then up front here, we have a little LED that flashes multiple colors depending on what the module is doing. So if you turn it on with the little switch here on the side, turn it on. You can see that it flashes through a few different units and now it's turned red because it doesn't have GPS signal. Not surprising, I'm down in the basement underneath a bunch of concrete and a whole entire house. So we'll go outside here in just a little bit and test this outside. But when it does have GPS signal and the unit is ready to go, you'll see this little LED turn green. It's really easy to attach. In my case, I just use this really good kind of industrial hook and loop stuff that I also use to attach strobes. And I'm gonna stick it right here, right on the front of the drone where it gets a pretty good open view of the sky so that it doesn't obstruct the GPS signal. Now I did take this outside and test it on my Air 3 because I wanted to make sure the module worked and I knew what I was talking about when I put together this video. So here you can see some of the information that the module transmits to an app like Drone Scanner on an iPhone. And uh, yeah, very interesting, very cool actually that you can see the flight paths as well. Thought that was interesting. I hadn't seen that on any other modules out there. So if you're looking for a really good, really high quality remote ID module, I would definitely say this is one to consider. Now this unit does cost $265. And while that's not inexpensive, if you're still using an Inspire 2 and you're not ready to drop 20 grand to upgrade to the Inspire 3, or in this case, if you're using a $3,500 custom built FPV drone, putting a $250 module on a drone that's worth that much and is still bringing you in income as a business, definitely makes sense. And this module is built extremely well and built really to be future proof. Now, this module will be linked in the description. I don't get any affiliate from that. It's just a straight link to Pierce Aerospace's website. Next, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video right here. I'll see you over there as always. If you have questions, ask me in the comments below or join my live stream, which happens most Wednesday nights from 4 p.m. Alaska time or 8 p.m. Eastern, where we can have more of a conversation and I can maybe answer questions that I didn't get to in this video. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.